Good afternoon. My name is Joanne Hayes White, and I serve as the San Francisco Fire Department Chief of Department. On behalf of the men and women of the San Francisco Fire Department, we're here today to honor our brother, Jalal, who served with dedication in our department. Uh, not only, like you said, did he serve the Muslim community, but he served all San Franciscans. And he did so with pride and respect and dedication. We consider him our brother because this fire department was a second family to him. And I know that uh, we grieve with you. Uh, he's far too young to pass away. He's a wonderful family man. He was an excellent firefighter. We all love working with him. Uh, we have members of his station, Station 19 out on Buckingham Way, as well as classmates when he entered the department in 2005. So he served with dedication for over 12 years. And that was the 110th class, and many of his classmates are here today. I know Jalal is one of 10 children, so we grieve with his family. He's a wonderful father and husband, and uh, all in all, a great person. So we suffer your loss uh, with you. We grieve for you. We want to support you in any way we can, and his family, uh, by always being uh, with you uh, and having fun wonderful memories of Jalal, a truly selfless individual who, like I said, served and wore his uniform with pride and dedication every day he came to work. And uh, with that, I offer you our sincere condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Battalion Chief Kevin Smith. I was one of uh, Jalal's training officers after uh, he finished the, uh, his Trained in the academy, he came out into the field and worked under my command. In addition to that, after uh, he finished his training, he came back to uh, Battalion 8, where I was then the battalion chief, and he worked under my command there um, until until this until this year, until 2016. Also, as uh, president of the San Francisco Black Firefighters, he's one of our members. Um, I, I'd like to say just a couple of things about Jalal. Um, Jalal. A quiet, strong willed person, um, and I enjoyed uh, very much you know working with him. We, you know, the, uh, tried to train him as best as I possibly could, and, and I, I think that reflects in how good of a firefighter he was. He was he's a great firefighter, very skilled in what he could do. Uh, when he was asked to uh, work as an officer, which is above his particular rank, he showed up at a fire for me and uh, that we had in our battalion and he did excellent work there he was he was great when he came and asked me uh, was, did I have any critique I told him no he, he did everything right so he could go back to his station so he was a great great firefighter um, but he he also the teaching both went both ways between uh, Jalal and I you know um, Jalal taught me a lot about his culture and I was always asking questions and he had plenty of answers for me so it was a great learning experience in being with him and uh, uh, learning from him and, and uh, working and having him work with us. So um, I want to extend my sincerest condolences to his family, to his friends, and to his community. Uh, Jalal was a rich man. Maybe not rich in money, but rich in faith and family. Uh, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is uh, Kirby Lau. I'm the captain of Station 19, Engine 19. The first time I met Jamal was right away. I knew he was a man that I liked. He was a good man, he was a good firefighter, he was loved by all. Yesterday was a sad day for not only for his family, the Muslim community, but his fellow firefighters in San Francisco and throughout this nation. I can sit here, I can stand here all day and tell you wonderful stories about Jalal, the trips that we've been on, the adventures that we were up when our station went up to Half Dome in Yosemite, great stories. And we can, <clears throat> we can talk, we can laugh. Uh, and one day I would like to share that with a lot of you. Uh, Jalal was a great man. He was a God-fearing man. He loved God more than anything. He loved his family. Uh, we are here 
as not only we may not be his immediate family, but we are his extended family as firefighters. And we'll do whatever it takes to carry on his legacy as a firefighter, as a man, as a God-fearing man. And I am sad today, like many of us here today, to to come here and talk about how short his life was. We know, I know that he's in a better place right now with God. And that's all we can ask for right now. And on behalf of my firehouse, the Sanctuary Fire Department, and all firefighters, I want to express my deepest condolences to the family, to the friends, and everyone here today. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've for four years. I worked with him at the station. And I think everyone who meets him, you know, we all, we all learn so much from him. I think, I know I learned to be a better person after knowing Jamal. Uh, and the same goes for everyone that has met him in the fire department. Uh, you know, you guys know Jalal as, as, as a great person. Jalal's a great cook in the firehouse. He had, we had the best meals, the best lamb. He would, he would cook very good. A uh, good volleyball player, you know, we, we had a lot, of, a lot of good memories with him uh, that we're all gonna miss. Uh, I was lucky to go to Morocco with him three years ago and, uh, and be with him and his family. And he taught me a lot, you know, he taught me a lot about Morocco and a lot about Islam. And, uh, you know, I know, I know, uh, I read that in Islam it says, Islam is, uh, is being at peace with Allah and being at peace with men and, and, and surrendering, surrendering yourself to Allah, your thoughts, everything. I know for a fact that Jalal ain't never surrendered himself to Allah. So I know he right now he's at peace with Allah. Thank you.